Hey lovelies, welcome back to my channel, it's me Kate Amwar. In today's video I'm just going to be sharing with you guys a few tips on how I manage to thicken up my hair. Now my hair is not too thick, I do have really fine strands naturally, but um, from the start of my hair journey until now I have managed to thicken up my hair a fair bit and I'm always asked, you know, how did you manage to get your hair so thick, etc. So yeah, I've just got a few tips I'm going to share with you guys in case you are trying to thicken up your hair. So if you are interested, stay tuned. Now the first tip I have is to stretch your relaxers. Prior to starting my hair journey, I was relaxing my hair every, I think, four to six weeks, which is a big no-no. I do recommend stretching, at least if you can, eight to 10 weeks. Um, if you can go to 12 weeks or more, then that's even better. But the longer you stretch your relaxers, is the more you allow regrowth to grow, basically. And then there's less chance of you overlapping your relaxers. When you overlap your relaxers, that leads to thinning, breakage, and overall your hair would just be unhealthy and also quite thin as well. The second tip I have, also relating to relaxers, is to coat your previously relaxed hair prior to relaxing. That's something I never used to do either. If you didn't know, after you apply the relaxer to your new growth, when you rinse it out, as it's passing through your previously relaxed hair, it's still, you know, processing it again, which can also lead to thinning, again, breakage. So make sure you coat your hair with either an oil or a cheap conditioner, anything like that. Just apply it to your previously relaxed hair prior to relaxing so that when you do your rinse, it's not gonna process your hair further. Another tip I have that I think contributed towards me thickening up my hair is using oils as part of my regime. Particularly, I would say probably castor oil, Jamaican black castor oil, and also coconut oil. Now, if you're on your hair journey, I'm sure you've heard about Jamaican black castor oil for thickening your hair, increasing hair growth. But also coconut oil is a really good oil just because it's the only one that penetrates your hair shaft which allows for less protein to leave your hair and also less damage so obviously if there's less damage your hair strand's going to be thicker and that leads to overall thicker hair as well. Another tip I have is to use light protein treatments weekly. If you're not suffering from protein overload then I would recommend using a product every single week that has a light protein in it. Something like this would be the Aphrodite 2 Minute Reconstructor or the ORS Replenishing Conditioner. Both of those are really good to use, I've used both of them in the past. Um, I probably favour the Aphrodite 2 Minute Reconstructor just because I can use it after deep conditioning and yeah, get a little bit of protein into my hair which allows your hair to remain stronger, fuller. An interesting fact I learned recently actually is that protein causes your hair strand to actually swell and therefore the hair strand becomes thicker naturally so that's another good tip. So yeah, again I would recommend doing the light protein treatments every week. Another more natural way your hair can get the benefits of protein is by using henna. I have used henna on and off throughout my hair journey and every time I use it I notice the big difference in the thickness of my hair just because henna clings to your hair and it causes your hair in diameter to swell and there's so many benefits I'll probably will do a separate video on all the benefits of using henna treatments but definitely try henna if you're looking for a more natural way to thicken up your hair. Now my final tip for you guys is to cut down on heat if you are trying to thicken your hair. I noticed that the first no heat challenge I did I think that was for about three months there was a big change and a big difference in my hair the thickness the health everything so I definitely would recommend cutting it down to either every other week or once a month if you can go and you know cut it out completely that's obviously even better but um yeah definitely cut down your direct heat usage that's flat irons blow dryers anything like that curling ones if you're trying to increase the health of your hair and the thickness then definitely try and stay away from those now that's about it for this video as i said that's all the things that i did to increase the thickness of my hair overall and will continue to do just because i still want my hair to get a bit thicker i hope you guys found these tips useful if you have your own tips that i might not have mentioned that you've tried leave them in the comment section below if you did enjoy this video don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you're not subscribed already and i'll see you in the next one take care and stay blessed